After they've got to commit to the run, hit them for big yardage with this play. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that actually gives you full games of all uh, the tips and schemes that I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Our so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so we're going to be jumping back into uh, the Chicago Bears scheme, which is going to be the gun wink, wing tight uh, formation. Uh, and the play we're going to take a look at is going to be mesh spot. You can also find this in the Panthers, Chiefs, and 49ers. Uh, and this is going to be one of the plays uh, that I'm going to actually use as my hot audible because it allows me to attack my opponent uh, pretty much with every single defense with, with with a read. So in other words, if he runs cover two, cover three, cover four, I can actually, I've got uh, a lot of big play opportunities against him. Uh, and then also it's a good uh, play to go and throw in if he's using a lot of man blitzes. So let's go ahead and jump into this breakdown. All right, so uh, basically the play that we're going to jump into is mesh spot. And just to get, uh, FYI, uh, what I like to do is Ohio spacing. I, re I really don't care for this play too much. Um, it's 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 got some limitations, whereas the mesh spot is a little bit more effective. So this is going to be something I'm going to switch out as one of my hot audibles. And we're going to run this against man blitzes. Now, um, primarily I'm going to run this play with the running back route. Now, the running back route's got a really good route. Uh, but because I want to be able to, to protect, uh, protect myself against any kind Kind of uh, hot blitzes i'm going to go ahead and run this uh, with the running back blocking now what's cool about this is that you've got two mesh concept plays that you can go ahead and use against your opponent and if you get the the, the right leverage uh he's not going to be able to go ahead and stop that with uh with uh, basically a a, 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 a a hot read uh you can get rid of that ball pretty quickly so it, depending if he's sending six or or not it's going to give you an opportunity to go ahead and hit your opponent in the flats and turn that up for some pretty easy yards if he uses a lot of aggressive man blitzes against you also, uh, if he's using a lot of aggressive man blitzes, you've got the deep in route, and we're going to be coming back to that a little bit later, but that can get you some major yards if you get enough time. But really, uh, if I'm using, I've seen a lot of aggressive man blitzes, I'm going to be looking uh, to the crossers uh, and it hopefully be able to turn that up to go in and pick up additional yards. So what about cover twos? Uh, well, uh, with cover twos, uh, this little spot route in the middle will get open, and also this little crosser on the back end side uh, will get open. And really, it's a high low, and there's no way your opponent's going to be able to go ahead and um, uh, take care of it. So we got the little low route right here. Now, the, I do want to let you know the tight end actually comes down towards you. So uh, you'll you'll have uh, basically a 10-yard completion, and all of a sudden he'll actually go ahead and, and take away some of your yards because uh, yards because he doesn't generally come back. So that could be that could range between a five and a 10-yard completion. So if you jump into this play in a third down situation, you understand that um, that route might actually be taken away. Now, uh, if the defender actually falls on the backhand side, this deep in route uh, is going to be the next route that you're going to go to. So let's go ahead and see. Got a defender actually falls down. This deep in route will get open and you can get some separation on that. So you got a, 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 a nice little tight passing lane. And the reason why... And the reason why is that this crossing route is going to go ahead and pull this defender to go down and freeze on that crossing route. And this in route is going to be wide open. And because you've got a spot right here, his manual defender is going to have to defend that. And there's no way he can get to this other side of the field. So if you get rid of the get rid of the ball right on the break, uh, 9 out of 10 times this guy's going to be wide open against cover 2. So what about cover 3? Well, uh, once again, uh, if you've got the single high safety, the spot route could be open. But you can see with cover 3, the spot route actually will get covered up and you want to be very conscious of that so that's probably a route that you want to stay away from so Paul's route and actually Cole's route are going to be the areas of the field that you want to look to against cover three uh, because that deep end route will once again get separation but if a defender actually floats up to the deep end route uh, based on a cover through shell um, so you can see right here let's see let's see if we get that cover three beater right there so picked up a good 15 14 yards on that completion so once again, uh, seeing cover three, you got a defender lining up. And you got that opportunity to go ahead and get that nice big completion right over the middle. So if a defender floats up like this, what's going to happen is this flat is going to be wide open where you can pick up a good 10 yards or so. So you want to settle for that against cover three. So uh, previously I showed you that stick and nod uh, verticals, this play gets pretty locked up by cover four. It's not consistent. Um, it would be an audible I wouldn't jump into if I'm seeing four uh, defensive backs like that. But mesh spot will actually go in and expose that. So I'm still going to block my running back to go ahead and provide a little additional uh, time. And really our first read is going to be this line, this uh, guy right here. As you can see, a lot of the cover four shells 
that area of the field is going to be wide open. And if you've got a fast number two uh, tight end, uh, you can actually hit him. Now, if a defender actually falls in the area, you could just go high once again into that area to, 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 uh, with that deep in route to go and take it uh, take it down. So if you, see, uh, if, you, if you see cover four, your opponent's using a lot of cover four, uh, if this route is not open naked on the backhand side, you just go to the next progression, which is going to be that high route right over the middle because pretty much every other route is locked up. So, uh, guys, if you like these type of breakdowns, make sure you hit the like button. Uh, this is going to be essentially uh, a formation I'll be running, primarily for this inside zone. This inside zone is a very effective run, uh, and it gives you easy, cheap yards where you can get at least a four or five yard gainer at the most, or at, 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 at the least. So to my subscribers, thank you for your support, guys. Make sure you smash that like button, and until next time.